Aye aye, that says out again, it's been a while um, I'm at Loch Doon, I'm just going to head out for a wee paddle camp um, Sorry if there's uh, any wind noise but um, I've forgotten my muffler I uh, need to get that sorted out uh, but Like I say, I've got a couple of mile paddle on the Loch Doon Basically heading out to the end of that headland that you can see there and round behind it uh, to a, an abandoned farm uh, called Erif so um, I'm just gonna get the pack craft up and ready now there's all the gear ready to rock and roll I just gotta get the boat up and the, the bag on the boat and then uh, we'll hit the water so good to see you again I'll uh, speak to you shortly well that's the wind showing at about uh, nine ten miles an hour probably gusts them up to about 12 I would say it's uh, a wee bit blowy, also a wee bit choppy, but uh, manageable, I think. Right, well, that's me on the lock now. Um, I'm not too sure how much you'll be able to hear with the wind. As I said before, I forgot my muffler, but it's the first time out in a while. Uh, surprised I've not forgotten more, but I might have done. We'll have to see when we get to camp. But anyway, I'm crossing the lock now. I'm not sure too much paddling. Uh, and I'll speak to you a wee bit further on. Uh, the wind's calmed down a fair bit now. I've just been hugging this side of the lock. Uh, I'm maybe about halfway there, possibly. Like I say, I think I'm sheltered here. It's looking like it's going to be a bit choppier once I uh, get round this headland. Happy days. Chop here, submerged uh, bushes. Right, I better start paddling again. That's me made it across uh, to Erif Farm. I'm not gonna lie, that was a tough paddle. Uh, the wind really picked up for the last sort of quarter of it. Uh, you can probably hear it on the on the mic there, and you can probably see the chop in the water behind me. But I'm quite glad to get out of the boat. So now I'm going to uh, just get everything off the boat and up, up there to where those trees are, that's where the sort of like farmhouse area is. up to the uh, farm, give me a wee spin around the farmhouse there and uh, that's what I'm going to be setting up so uh, it's just starting to rain so I'm going to try and get a shelter up uh, fairly quickly speak in a bit It's pretty blowy like. Uh, hopefully we'll get some camp set up there. On the, the climb peak too. I'll set up the tarp just for a place to sit out and listen to football and whatnot. So yeah, this is Erif Farm. Long since abandoned. It's uh it's on old 1800s maps, it's a farm but 
Yeah, it's just a derelict old building with uh, walls now. Fairly spooky. Lovely stuff. I, I, I'm not sure how much of this you're going to be able to hear because of the wind. Uh, but it's absolutely blowing a hoolie now. Uh, I think I'm going to retire into the tent. Uh, see behind me there. We're in Cloud Peak 2. Uh, I have been chilling out in the shelter I made just to try and uh, not spend too much time in the tent. But the, the tent <laughs> just sounds like a really cosy proposition at the moment because it's. Uh, it's and uh, blowing a gale. Uh, the wind's coming straight in from the lock there. And I'm managing the shelter using the DD tarp, but yeah, it's freezing. Now I'm getting in the warm lab. Tent door shut, getting the wee heater on. Uh, just sounds too tempting, so I'm going to go in there and uh, cook up some noodles, I think. So as you can see, I've made it back into the tent. Uh, very glad to be out of that wind and rain. Absolutely horrible out there. But anyway, uh, I've got some noodles on the go as well. You can probably tell by the, the steam that I'm creating. <laughs> uh, steamy windows, that's them just about ready. Uh, these noodles are uh, Oriental Coca chicken, original chicken flavour noodles. Uh, Pallet work gives me these to try out. You know I like my noodles, so uh, once I've had them, I'm speaking to them, I'll give you a new review of these uh, coca noodles. Cheers now. Uh, well that's me nice and cosy in the bag now. Uh, enjoyed those noodles. Uh, those uh, coca noodles or whatever they're called. Uh, so I, AJ, they're pretty uh, they're pretty tasty like. Um, a bit milder than what I'm used to, but uh, very nice chicken flavour. They reminded me of super noodles quite a bit, um, but I think the the sachet of 100% uh, MSG <laughs> made them a wee bit better than super noodles. But anyway, I'm uh, enjoying a grapefruit IPA at the moment. Totally tropical. Uh, it's not grapefruit. What am I talking? Mango, mango IPA. It's obviously working if I don't know the difference between a grapefruit and a mango. But anyway, um, nice and cosy now. Uh, the wind and rain has been battering for you know the last couple hours. Like, uh, hopefully you'll be able to hear me above it. It's settled down a wee bit now, uh, but it's coming through in, in big gusts and big squalls. So, oh, it just adds to the adds to the entertainment. So. Um, I'll catch up with you in a bit. I'm just going to enjoy this beer and I'll maybe speak to you when I'm uh, on my next one. Slanch. The weather's taken a wee bit of a turn for the worse. I'm um, hoping you'll be able to hear me over the, the rain clattering off the tent, the wind bashing it to bits. Like uh, I've got it all guyed out fine, so we should be okay. Um, Lots of confidence in this tent, Cloud Peak 2. On to my next beer, it's a wee, uh, what have we got here? Pinata it's called. Is that not the thing as you bash? Yeah, so it's uh, mango and guava pale ale. So yeah, I think a pinata is uh, those sort of like donkeys that you bash that are suspended from ceilings at uh, Hispanic parties. Or any parties with a pinata, really. But, um, aye. Weather's taking a turn for the worst. Uh, I'm enjoying it, though. I love the challenge. Uh, folks that go well camping out in the out in the bad weather will know what, exactly what I mean. It's the challenge of getting through it and staying warm and cosy and enjoying yourself. Um, yeah, this is the first time I've been out in ages. Uh, I was out camping with my brother in December. Uh, we're in the middle of March now. Yeah, December 23, I went out with my brother uh, above Canic. I'll actually, uh, I didn't do a video. Well, I tried to do a video then, but, uh, you know, 
I didn't film too much and it wasn't really enough to make a video and uh, well, I wasn't feeling it uh, but I still have clips so I'll, yeah, I'll play, I'll play them now Beat it. Woo! That's us on the last leg now. Um, it's been a very wet descent, quite slippy. But we've got the slippiest bit we have now, so I'm not going to stop any of that. We'll be on our steps, I'm sure. Anyway, uh, I think we'll uh, think it's fun for you. Uh, we'll maybe see you in the new year for some more camping activities. I'll get you a wee spin round there. That's the valley floor. That's Canic, that's where we're uh well oh, that way. That's where we're aiming for. For some uh fingers crossed some uh looking for the Love it. Yes. Right, So yeah, I've not been out since then. Uh I wasn't that well just before Christmas. Um and then Christmas came and then January again uh things got in the way, work's been busy. Uh, and then I got a flu in February, which sort of knocked me out a wee bit, so this weekend is the sort of first weekend that I had available, A, to come out, B, I felt like coming out, and was well enough, and uh, yeah, I could have done with it being, you know, a nice warm sunny March evening, you know, cooking outside and whatnot, but Hey ho, it is what it is. I'm enjoying myself, so uh, yeah. I'll speak to you in a wee while, uh, maybe on my last beer. See you in a bit. The rain seems to have uh, abated a wee bit and the wind's dropped too, so uh, that's good news because uh, I think I'm uh, going to hit the hay and try and get a bit of shut eye. Uh, it's about what are we on now. It's just coming up for nine o'clock. So what I'll do is I've got a wee fruit shoot, uh, wee fruit shoot bottle with some whiskey in it, just for a wee nightcap. So I'll have that, listen to a bit of a podcast, and then uh, see if we can get some sleep. Um, yeah. So yeah, today's been brilliant. Good to get back out. I must admit though, uh, having not been out for such a long time, I find it a bit tricky, you know, uh, out of practice I suppose, you know, just things just seem to be a wee bit more difficult to do, tying knots and pitching stuff up and all that, you know. Um, but no, it springs are springing and I'm sure I'll be out lots more over the coming weeks and months. Uh, yeah, so looking forward to that. Um, YouTube channel, uh, <laughs> I'm nearly at 500 subscribers. Uh, la last check, which was about an hour ago, I was on 598, so, no, 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 498 subscribers, nearly at 500. So <laughs> I'm absolutely delighted with that. Um, I never ever thought I'd reach 100. But no, 500, brilliant. Um, if I get there, I'm sure I will. Uh, I'm quite sure that YouTube will be in the half with me for not posting for so long. Uh, so this video might not get a lot of traction, but it's, like I say, out of practice be doing that as well, you know, I've just found the filming and the, the stuff, you can probably tell, uh, quite tricky. The weather's not helped, but uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll hit 500 subscribers and that, that'll uh, that'll be a proper buzz. Um, but anyway, I'm talking rubbish now. I'm going to get some sleep and uh, more to come tomorrow. Uh, got to get that boat down to the, the water and paddle the, the two and a half miles or whatever it is back. So, yeah, unless anything dramatic happens overnight, 
I'll catch you in the morning. Cheers now. Morning, that's me up and about. Uh, well, not quite up and about yet. I'm still cozy in my bag, but uh, tell me on now. It's uh, quarter to seven. Been up for about half an hour. Um, just having a brew and whatnot. So, uh, gonna start thinking about packing up soon. I'll maybe have another cuppa, but uh, it's a lot calmer this morning than it was last night. Uh, I think the uh, weather's going to be a bit better than it was yesterday. Uh, still not great. Um, I think there's about a 10 mile an hour wind, but it's in in the right direction for me paddling uh, later on. So we'll have a look at that once we're down at the shore. But yeah, slept absolutely fine. This uh, new bivy sleeping bag cover was uh, superb. No condensation inside. Absolutely fine. So. All gone well, so I'll speak to you uh, once I've got everything packed up and away. Right, so that's me pretty much packed up. No trace left as usual, that's where the shelter was. And right there is where the tent was. So I've just got to take the stuff down to the lock, which you can't even see because it's that misty. So <laughs> uh, I'll speak to you once I'm uh, down at the shore. Right, well, I'm just pumping up the boat at the moment. Uh, as you can see, the visibility uh, isn't great. It's improved from earlier. Uh, the wind, I don't know if you can see that. It's nine mile an hour. Nine mile an hour, sorry, gusting up to 11. But, uh, yeah, so the wind's gonna be at my back most of the way. The sun is trying to get through there, but yeah, pretty grim, not many views, so. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, yeah, just wait for this boat to get pumped up now, and then I'll uh, get it rigged up. That's the boat all rigged up and ready to go. Uh, you can see the mist starting to clear a wee bit, but uh, hopefully it'll clear a bit more as I go along. But anyway, heading out. I'll speak to you on the water. So that's me on the water now. It's uh, a lot calmer than it was coming in yesterday. Still a bit choppy. I've still got a bit of wind to fight against in this first part, but once you get round the corner of that headland, the wind will be at my back. I'll give you a wee spin around. That's what I was camping up there. Erif Farm. Uh, yeah, good camp. Weather could have been better. But, uh, let's crack on. Not too far to go now. Uh, don't know if you'll be able to make it out on the screen there, but you can see the dam and the roundhouse up ahead. I'm parked just near to the roundhouse. Uh, I've just got that little bit of paddling to do. Um, I'm crossing round about just up where the, the roundhouse is there. I'll put a wee mark on the screen. I've been uh, chilling out and the wind's been pushing me along without paddling at about one mile an hour. I was currently, I don't know if you can see that, 1.3, 1.4 I don't know if you can make that out, but that's without paddling. So <laughs> I could sit here for an hour and uh, under an hour and get across there. So, but I won't be lazy. I'll keep paddling along. And I'll see you at the other side. Very uh, easy paddle compared to yesterday. I've done that in sort of like half an hour, well, no, 35, 40 minutes uh, compared to two hours yesterday. So shows you what uh, benefit is of the wind at your back compared to the wind being at, into your face when you're doing this paddling crack. So 
I'm just gonna get the boat uh, sorted out. It's not too far to the car. Don't know if you'll be able to make it out there somewhere in the middle of the screen. So I just gotta hoy all the stuff up there and I'll maybe speak to you in the car. Cheers now. That's me back in the car now, clearly. Um, yeah, good camp. Uh, as I think I said before, definitely out of practice with everything if you don't go out for a while. Um, you know, not everything comes as easy and uh, I don't think the weather was very kind to me. Uh, it's still good fun, <clears throat> but you know, the wind and the rain, I didn't uh, film a great deal. Uh, the views weren't great, so the video's probably not going to be amazing, but it's uh, it's another one on there and uh, you know, there'll be plenty of opportunities uh, this year to get out and about and hopefully I'll get back into the swing of things. So uh, if you've watched this far, thanks very much. And well done, and uh, I'll catch up with you in the next one. Cheers, guys.